Yeah. We don't we don't take that shit in Arthur Morgan's camp. You're gonna pay for this! No, I think you are. With your nuts. Or your life. Whichever one hurts you more. Good morning, this is Calamity Calling, and as usual, Red Dead Redemption 2 was dramatic. First, I got to tackle the little shit who stole my bag in the previous, previous episode. You little Get there, bastard. you little sh I got him back. I tackled him. I caught him. I win. It was very satisfying. I had a shootout in a graveyard with John to get the kid back from the weird Italian, as they call it. And then we got back to camp with Jack and it was all good but Abigail didn't say thank you to John for his part in saving Jack and that made me a bit sad. You ever eat that? Come here you silly boy. <laughs> oh. You got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Ah, uh, John. <laughs> but Arthur finally got to sleep in his own bed-ish. <sighs> and Miss Molly or Miss O'Shea didn't want to talk but I really want to talk to her because she knows something or thinks something and I think that's very important to hear because something's going wrong there. Let's go! First port of call in this episode, try to speak to Miss O'Shea. I feel like Dutch is unraveling at the seams and um, no thank you. Hello Mary, Ugh, that was gross. Hello Mary Beth. Oh, how are you Arthur? Fine. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? you? Um, well I'm well, I think. It's been Aww. quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Yeah. yeah. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, oh, sweetheart. Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. Oh, bless her. She's what about so young. you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that merry girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? <sighs> Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> didn't think I well, was She didn't love me enough, I guess. Why is he itch? Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't the sort of game to tell me things directly. It gives little hints. Arthur was coughing in the last episode. He's itching in this one, and the reason I'm bringing that up is because he's never, you know, he's never coughed before, apart from, you know, like, drunken hangover, etc. And he's never itched. He's never once itched. No one dare spoil it for me, but why is, why is he itchy? Because I am going to Google what this means when this episode is over, if I remember to. Something's happening to Arthur, and I don't like that. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor Ooh, tail of book? it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. What? Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's oh, she's doing what? stumpy. She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! Right. Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. She is a mother hen of more the guns? most You and degree. I can handle this, Arthur. What? No, Where wait, hang on. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Oh, okay. I'm sorry she shoved you. All right, head for Rhodes and quick. Okay. No, she's at a place called Bradley's house. Just I west feel like there. I remember that. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from hmm. time to time. Can you go Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. Okay, that's I suppose fair. I didn't think it would be a problem. 
Now it is. Oh, yes. What yeah. do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yeah. Yes. They probably followed us down here. Bastards. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Needs must. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you People might think. People have to stand up for themselves. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we oh, can get to her in time. It's not we too will. Far. If they touched a single hair on that I will take head, them out, do I not worry. The sons of oh, good word. Do do I like you, Miss Grimshaw. Of course you're a, you're a fearsome woman. About all you fools. Wow. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. Oh. Anyway, talking to folks disappear. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay. Oh, I think that's the place up ahead. I Kieran. there's a guard. I'll do Kieran. it. Whoa. What you want? Oh. We are lost in, in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, Am I paying? such as yourself could be mighty kind. Oh, get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Oh, oh yeah. I like you, lady. I like you a lot. Yeah. Now let me go around the back. This is in the outhouse. That one? Okay. Back door. Break lock. Are you going in there or not? Give me a minute. I'm trying to be sneaky and smart about this, okay? I don't do that very often. Sheriff! Sure. What the hell you think you're doing? They won't even recognize your car! Yeah, they won't recognize yours either. Where is she? Where is she? I hear her. Let me in. Smash. That's enough, you bitch. What's going on out there? This better not have nothing to do with you, Tilly Jackson. Finish those bastards off! Oh, I will, believe me. What's in here? Let me out. Don't like that the door closed for me. Yeah, we are. Where is she? Where? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna raid some, like stuff. I'm working on it, but I'm also raiding some stuff because things. Life is expensive in the West. I will of course get her, do not worry. Ooh, crackers. Oh, believe me, I will break them plenty if they've laid a finger on her. Right. Um, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a bottle with wax on it. Okay, never mind. Give me a minute, there's a lot of doors here. There you go. You good? It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm. get you out of here. Too nice. I thought there was. Oh, sweetheart, no. Yeah, it don't matter good. what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. They right, were following I guess I'm him, going I think. Hunting. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that oh, gun. Oh, that's a pretty Anyone broken approaches, horse. shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. <laughs> All right. Now catch that <sighs> bastard. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is my horse now. I wanted a perfect horse. All right. Get after them. What do you think I'm doing? I'm riding like the wind. Yeah. Maybe you let me duck first. You've got a couple first. more seconds to regret what you did. We're yeah. coming for you, you bastards. They're heading down the hill to the water. Oh, look at these cowards. There they are, my son. Come on, come on. That girl holds us. She's a person. You do not know. You've got me. You're not dead. Right, 
Alright, next one. Come on! Wow, that was the jumper. Okay, over here. Um, they're not moving very quickly, so I feel like it might be a trap, but at the same time... There you are. Go down. People Stay right not... on their tail, oh, okay. Arthur! What you think I'm doing? You picked the wrong girl! Yes, you did. Alright, I think that right. last one's the boss. Ooh, last of women, we'll but... take him back to Tiff. Oh yeah, she gets to gild him, I think. That's only really fair. Don't kill right, me. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Oh, she is going for blood and I love it. I love it so Come much. On. Where are you at? Get him, Arthur! Come here! That's it. Ah. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Get this off of me. No. Okay now. Make these nice and tight. Alright. You bring that bastard back to Tilly, so we can all have a nice okay, little chat. Okay, I tried chat. to tie him up, I swear. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. Oh, got him by the leg, got him by the leg. That was fun. Right, sir, I do believe I'm going to hog tie you. Hold still, mister. Yeah. We don't, we don't take that shit in Arthur Morgan's camp. You're gonna pay for this? No, I think you are. With your nuts or your life, whichever one hurts you more. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Where's the horse I rode in on? There Get it is. Get these ropes off of me right now! I don't think you're in any place to be making demands right now, sir. Oh, dude, you are heavy. You are slowing me down. Oh, there you go, polka dot horse. I said I wanted one, didn't I? You're a dead man. <laughs> And you are. Let's go for a ride. Ba -ba -dum. You ba -ba. have the first idea what you're getting into. You took one of mine. I'm Anthony Foreman. Yeah, well, and I'm thanks for Morgan. the introduction, Anthony. Damn hey, coward. But, yeah. Get off me. No. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Nah. Bastard. Yeah, I know I am. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. With a vandalin. This rope is cutting into me. I don't oh, feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? No. Nope. Killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, I don't, don't give worry. a shit. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you? Oh, yeah. What That's are you fun. Gonna do, pal? I'm gonna keep hitting right, you. All right, damn it. Yeah. Thank you for getting the message. I appreciate when you shut up. Right, let's take you back. This is a fun way to start an episode, wasn't it? Um... Oh, Tilly! I do believe I have something right. for you. Here's your man! Bring him here! <laughs> Did he dump him himself? on the ground here? I wanna get a good look at this monster. Yeah, now get off the nice horse. And drop. There you go! So he's still alive then? Just about. Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? I will cut you a new smile if you don't. your throat and just save us all the bother. I'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. History is done. Yep. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. You, you Go got on. a... Oh. Hang on, controller. That was a bad moment. You know I thought my I pressed... choice. Spare him. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. And for my price, I take the polka dot horse. Hang on, how can I? 
I mean, I might as well. Things. Stay there, horse. I'm going to borrow you to get back, but I want to raid the house first. Oh, hello. I was a bit busy searching for our young miss. Oh, hang on. There was a drawer there I could search. Never mind. I do not need the cocaine gum. Oh, there's a tin of something. Tins are good. I like tins. Ooh, guns. Oh, a wedding ring. These people have loads of... Apple. Ooh, corned beef. Healthy. My horse will have a nice snack, thanks to you. So if nothing else, you're useful in that regard. Right, I'm good. Bye-bye. Where are you at, polka dot horse? Oh. Gonna borrow you. Okay, the first proper time I sit on you, you're pooping. Have some manners, sir. Or lady. I don't presume your gender, horse. Right, Hosea. Uh, I'm gonna go back to here, drop this horse off, and get my horse. I worked hard for that horse. I'm keeping it. Yep. This horse rides quite well, actually. Hang on. Hang on. What was that red thing? I keep seeing random red dots, and I know they mean like, ooh, jump enemies or predators, but I just... They seem somewhat inconsistent. Excuse me. Hosea. Oh, there you are. Oh, you tied your hair up. Good luck for you. Hosea, words. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're hey, doing this? Oh, oh yeah. Good outfit. Old friend Dutch van der Linda's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my oh. suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you oh, son yeah. of a bitch. He is dressed all fancy, though. I probably need a wash. I can't remember the last time I washed after Arthur. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't Arthur never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, these are pretty. Gentlemen. Hang on, I just want to take a nice picture of him in a suit. Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions Aww. after last year's incident. That's annoying. I like Arthur's gun. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. Thank I believe you. he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Where's Arthur's top hat? Arthur looks dashing in a top Oh, Ash Arthur looks dashing regardless in his suit. He just walks like he's wet himself. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are really? honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. I'm uh, done now. It amuses me. What a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. The lights are going in that room. Hey, they need Bill, to change the light bulb. You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> Come here. Right. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Why does Arthur walk like he's wet himself when he wears a suit? Also, why is why is Dutch the dandiest man of them all? Arthur deserves a nice satin frock coat and top hat. Well, hello. Any shiny things in this room? Oh boy, hello. Why does he ah, get a gun? The angry cowboys who arrived and you've uh, watched for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So. <laughs> 
This is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they Let certainly me. are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything Give for me. a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He oh, owns fancy. a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young drunk. mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Yeah. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy them. for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> hey, they're trying to do things properly. And that, Don't be arrogant. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. Arthur's face says, the fuck you doing, Dutch? <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I appreciate it. I no offense, talker. sir. I'm not taking. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other I mean, and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> we don't do that, but... Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. Well... But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Is he telling us to rob his guests? Thanks for okay, that. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'm bringing my cigar. Wait, where's party, where's Arthur's cigar gone? Why did he lock that door? Why did he lock that door? I want to go in there. I want to go in there more now that he's locked me out of it. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Anita. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Bienvenuto. Gentlemen. Let's go and Wait. Ourselves. They go on and on about doing things the right way. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Ah, uh, no. Glass of champagne, sir? No, I'm good, thank you. Where are the Native Americans? No, Native... Uh, I don't know what the right word is, name. Where are the Native Americans? Native Indian? I don't know the right word. Someone tell me what the right word is and I'll use that in future. Mister? Good evening, sir. Alfred I don't know you and I don't care. <laughs> I'm Lick. You, you good? Okay? My lord. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Algernon Hello. Uh, uh. Cassidy's killed me. 
Hello, Mr. Kilko. Hello. Oh, what is it that I... that you do? Um, uh... I'm an I'm adventurer. adventurer. Oh, but me too. I'm bored of the you conversation with him now. Can I move on? An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Goodbye. My card, sir. Oh, thank you. Pay me a visit in my atelier. Oh, fancy. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Okay, that might happen sooner than you realize. Um... Where are the American native? Where are the natives? That's what I'm going to call them, the natives. Is that a fairy go around? Merry fairy go around? Oh, natives, where are you? I wish to speak with you. I made a goal when I originally started this game to find a way to give you your land back, and I still want to do that. Evening, folks. Good evening. Hello? Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go to the theater. Good evening. Good evening to you also. Well. <laughs> Do you just not want to go? Evening, You're sir. walking away from Bonjour, history, monsieur. you fool. Women and men both deserve to decide. This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh god, I'm not speaking. Is Jameson like whiskey? Can I interest you? Look me in the eye and tell me in all honesty that I am not the equal of any man you've ever met. You're preaching again, Mrs. Whitlow. And you're burying your head in the sand. I can't again, find sir. them. Don't blame me for God's mistakes. Hey. If they were mistakes. What do you mean? Oh, it's Women Dorothea. Are inferior to men. Madam, sir, I would offense. punch you out if I could. Demonstrable. I will not deny Mrs. Wicklow. I'm intrigued, sir. Sounding good, fellas. Okay, I can't I clearly. Am your clear superior. No, How you're not. But you're not in my. How do you do? Good evening, all. Can I help you, sir? Hello. Well, Where sure. are they? This is Mr. Hector. He's the finest milliner in the state. I guess I'm going to get a new hat. Interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. Thank you. I want some other people to threaten to hit me. Do, if that's okay with you. You're a piece of trash. Wait, Dorothea. I'd like to talk to you. Don't you think? I mean, did you hear what that man said? Inferior. I know he's an idiot. Think women should have the vote. Oh, yes. I don't care. I've never voted anyway. Well, that's no better. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm still Bye. with that oath. No, no, no. I don't want to. Damn it! It, it pulled me into it already. I'm you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. You can't but even see man, straight. This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come You're on, being rude. Sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. I'm sorry for his bad manners. Hang on, where are there more people around there? I want to find the natives. Hello. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. You're welcome. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. 
Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can Fun. still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My oh, lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. My lord, they're fantastic. I want to take a picture of the fireworks. Oh my god, off is in the way. Ooh, I love fireworks. They're so pretty. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm yep. very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. All right. Oh. I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for asking. Hello. I appreciate the good see. Okay, that's the noise you're making. Oh, wonderful. Yes. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Oh. I'm just a humble guest wandering around. I'm totally hey. glad to be here. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. You see nothing. Whoopie do. Marie! Marie! You see nothing. Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him. Oh, what does We're that mean? I feel like that's a bad word. Have you lost your mind? That light bulb's broken. I said, have Still. you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Hey. Get out of my sight. Physical abuse is not interesting or cool or accepted in my neck of the woods. I'm Arthur Morgan, and I do not take shit. Oops. Oh, he's going in the room I wanted to go in. Oh, I want to go in there. I guess I'm invading that drawer. looking a bit rough Top secret extremely confidential very interesting let's say uh yet again cities in debt to you now I'll give you the funds to for your school well, I see no one else here right now, so P 
piggy back. Oh, did I find a servant's quarters? Okay, bye. Sorry, I thought I found a secret cubby hole. I apologize, I did not find a secret cubby hole. I'm just hoping to find things for my pockets. Never mind. I guess he did say we weren't meant to pinch anything. Fine, I'll go down to Dutch. No one ever saw me come in this room. They did, they are wrong, it never happened. Uh -huh. I say so, so wrote it to be. Where are the natives? Hey partner! Hi there. Oh, if I jump over the balcony they will get very suspicious. Hello. Hello. Uh, they are Dutch, looks dodgy. I think so. Dodgy, rather, even. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. No, 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 I wanted to find them. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. My layers are all tangled. Bank. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. Oh. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley Gosh. car station Senor Bronte told us about. And Why I've do they slot walk so much faster than him? Game. Come on. I'm coming. I like those little lanterns. They're cute. I'd like those if I had a big garden one day. Hell, if I had a garden full stop. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's no more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Hee hee hee. Let me see you take this. No. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Oh. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. What do you want, Dutch? So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose um. is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. Last time we and were Trelawney, on a boat, it didn't go well. He's investigating for us. He says to meet no. him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. He got crazy eyes. <sighs> And with this lovely moment, I am ending this episode here. If you are still with me at this point, please do like, comment and subscribe because it really helps the channel. Oh boy. I thought it was dramatic before, but it's, it's getting way more so. But have a very lovely day. Most importantly of all, you do. Thank you.